that for Canal Plus? Is there a genuine satisfaction, especially at the front where the pack dominated and uh, whose work led to all the trials? Can you talk about your pack? Ball winning worked well. The performance in the scrum at the line out, both offensively and uh, offensively, are two very positive uh, outcomes for this game, uh, especially with the rotation of the players. So, overall, in the game, we were able to uh, put permanent pressure on Italy at this level. Uh, good evening, Fabien. A word about your defence, which is progressing from game to game. We really feel that uh, Anthony Jelon uh, and Dante's uh, tackles are working out for you. Well, it's true that our defence is progressing, but it's up to you to judge or assess. We will uh, quietly go back and see where we can improve, because we took we shipped seven points. Seven points uh, remains something consistent with our ambitions in this competition. Now, clearly, the defence, we will closely watch all the teams that are competing for this World Cup. Uh, they all have very uh, tightly sealed defences. So, clearly, for us, we're looking to uh, ship as few points as possible and uh, spend as, as little time as possible without the ball. Good evening, Fabien. Wilfim Tambier, RMZ. It's not always easy to talk about one player, but one has uh, wild figures. That's Damien Penaud, who this evening has overtaken Vincent Clerc, and Serge Blanco, who is the best scorer in the World Cup. Uh, 30 tries in the last 31 games. Can you talk us, to us about Damien's performances? Well, it's easy. The winger is the last link in the chain of skills, so Damien is lucky enough to play in a team that is performing and that will put him into areas where he feels comfortable. So it's very easy to congratulate Damien for his offensive performance, but it's also uh, very easy when you have a team like that working for you. And in fact, the players who become great are served by their teams. So there is always a balance between, uh, for me anyway, if I, if, if I may say so, uh, individual performance is served by the collective performance, whoever the players. It's true that for four years now we could underscore a lot of uh, players uh, who are revealing themselves and who are growing, but it's always because uh, the team is carrying them. And it's a mix. And this mix contributes because the player contributes to the team's performance and the team can, uh, contributes to their individual performances. Thank you. Um, good evening, Fabian. Luke from The Guardian. Um, you've had to deal with some injuries in this campaign. Are you pleased with how the group has dealt with that? Is that everyone has had a traduction of my question? It's interesting. Tout le monde a la traduction Donc c'est par rapport à par rapport aux blessés pendant cette campagne. During this uh, campaign, well, we've had some injuries. As I said, in Marseille, we're always disappointed, always sad when a player gets injured with us. Uh, we, as staff, always feel responsible because we support the players in their development. And we, we're never guilty. Uh, if we put a player on the field, it means we've validated their capacity, their ability to play. So we are responsible because that's our choice, but never guilty. Then um, we prepared uh, also for such a scenario, which is not a good one. That is to lose players to injury. We lost uh, Roma and Tamak uh, through injury. We had Paul Willemse, uh, who was injured uh, during the break, uh, during individual training at home, and he had to abandon his participation. These were two players who were in a group of 42 who had to leave us. And in the competition amongst the 33, currently, we have two injured players, Julien Marchand and Antoine Dupont. 
but if they're with us, it's because we are sure that we, they will come back to the competition. We are carrying going forward at 33. We remain 33, and we will stay together. Why the decision to go to the posts uh, with the last uh, possession, with the last penalty? At the end of the game, well, I was no longer on the field, so I can't give you the details of the discussions at that point. But I think simply, well, it was the uh, last 16 games, so there's no real bonus. So we just wanted to be sure to win the game and, and do things uh, as they should be done. I can't tell you exactly the discussions that took place on the field to go between the posts, but it coincided with, with our philosophy or, of getting things done and, above all, winning this game. Yes, hello. Uh, Fabien, you often say we're where we want to be. Uh, so tonight you're where you wanted to be. You've qualified for the quarterfinals. How do you feel? Are you happy? Are you saying to yourself we're progressing and we're getting slowly getting closer to the goal we set ourselves? Yes, we're very, very happy to have had a successful game. Very happy to have a successful qualifying stage. Very uh, satisfied uh, with uh, four years and 43 games. This evening, we will recuperate together. We'll try and spend some good times together, celebrate this qualification, and then we will turn to the quarterfinal, which will be for us after a first World Cup final against New Zealand, will be a second uh, World Cup final for us, clearly. So we are very happy to be validating our qualifying stage, our pool stage, but we know that our next uh, meeting next Sunday is a second World Cup final waiting for us, clearly, and I wait, I'm weighing my words. Right at the back. A question for the captain, Charles, as a player, how do you feel about this start from the French team and the way you play this game? This game? Are there any things that are particularly satisfying or others you need to work on? How do you feel? Well, yes, there is some positive. We wanted to be uh, all out from the start to the end for the all 80 minutes. We wanted to be very intense. We also wanted to prepare for the rest. and. Uh, ha have good uh, releases to be able to convert our game. So that was the main thing we said in the change room before the game. Uh, so the pack of forwards has a big responsibility in this, and I think we played our role well, and we enabled uh, the hinge and the three quarters to play in good conditions. So yes, we're satisfied uh, about that aspect of the game. I think uh, we wanted to go head on with all 15 of us, and I think we applied it tonight. Hello, Jean-Gabriel Montaigne from the Parisien. Could you have a word about potential opponents in the quarterfinals and particularly South Africa, who are the lead team? Or how do you see that opponent or potential opponent for Sunday? I'll repeat what I said. Whoever the opponent is, for us, it's clearly a World Cup final. On one side, they are the, the South Africans are world champions who have prepared their back-to-back. -back. They've clearly been preparing for that. And on the other side, you've got the world number ones. So the draw is what it is. And it's up to us to do our work, our job. Charles, here on the left, you had a historical victory against Namibia. This is your largest victory against Italy. Are these small signals? Are you sending a message in about uh, your progression? It's the result of our hard work and our, uh, uh, over the game. Whether it's uh, Namibia or this game, 
we wanted to, we were serious, we wanted to do things properly, and the, this is the consequence. The historic schools against Namibia or Italy are the consequence of all our work that we put in. So yes, if it's sending out a signal, so much the better. It means that we did our did things well. But then we wanted to be intense. We wanted to hit them head on because and be best prepared the and the next and the ne next game and I hope the next games. Fabien, again, six of your eight tries today were the fruit of uh, building long sequences, long phases. Is, is that something that might have been missing since the beginning? Are you satisfied to validify, validate this stage before the quarterfinals? It's good. But as long as we score and we win games, we're satisfied. We're not here to do demonstrations or do long phases. Uh, spending time, a lot of time scoring is not our goal. Our goal is to win the game. And to win the game, it's a question of... There are, there are several boxes to tick, but not all of them. Sometimes we score in a certain way. Sometimes we don't ship points in a certain way. The important thing is that at the end of the game, we end up ahead. We're not here to uh, show off or, or, or to look good. We're here to win the game. So if today you're happy with the uh, long phases, then we're happy to please you. Anyway, I will repeat what we're trying to, we've been trying to do for the last four years. We're trying to unite and share around our team all of French rugby and even more today. So we can hear the critics, or the, uh, whether they're positive or negative. We're not unsensitive to it. We, it, it does affect us. Fabien, to your left, uh, killing off the game quickly, and uh, was that one of your goals in this game, uh, to prepare for this second World Cup final, as you call it? It's true, it happened very quickly. I think the game seemed uh, not quite killed off, but around the 20th minute, minute, I think we'd already scored around four tries or 24 points uh, after 20 minutes. Well, he's playing and he still manages to uh, remember. I've got all the screens in front of me and I can't remember anything. Well done, Charles. And actually, it was a, a will to attack the game with everything we could do best. You never know what the scenario is going to be. You never know what's going to happen. There are so many different things that can happen today in rugby with uh, the, 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 the penalties. There's so many ways of being sanctioned with or without the ball, uh, by, by, both by the rules and by the opponent. So you can never anticipate we have a game plan, and often it doesn't... Uh, work out as planned, but we've learned to adapt. We've learned to adapt our team to events. And it's true, gen generally it went better than expected, because Charles reminded me that we'd scored 24 points by the 20th minute. That's perfect, perfect. We'll take a final question. Charles. How do you prepare mentally uh, to play the Springboks? It will be a bit of a war. How do you... Uh, how do you have you already played tomorrow's game? We can't know who's going to be our opponent. May, if I may. There is a Scotland-Ireland game that might modify the quarterfinals. We know we'll be there, but Scotland-Ireland is a game that, a suspenseful game. But if you're talking to us about our future opponents, it's quite simple. It's a World Cup final for us. Thank you, everybody. This is the end of the press conference.